How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. We're working on the Kubota 2301. We have the loader here, which is an LA-435. Uh, the bucket uh, is a great little bucket on it. It has a smooth cutting edge on it. And what we want to do today is put a tooth bar on it. Tooth bar is just a piece of metal that will attach right onto our bucket. Uh, we don't have to change the bucket out. All we have to do is put the bar on and off when we need it. Making, it's going to make it nice when we're moving brush, even picking up logs, sort of, you'll be able to hook under a log and pick it up and move it, but also be able to dig little brush and stuff out of the ground. And that's what we want it for. We have a lot of brush we need to move, small briars, vines, and that type of thing, and that tooth bar is going to come in really handy. Also, when you get in some hard dirt, this thing's going to be able to peel, those, peel that dirt up a lot easier than the smooth uh, bucket. So let me show you what we're going to be working with, and uh, we'll get started on this project. Okay, this is the tooth bar. We picked this up from Kubota. Uh, this is actually made for the bucket that we're going to be putting it on. Uh, we're pretty tickled to get it on there. It has some replaceable tips on it, which is pretty cool. If we happen to lose one of these, we can order more. Or if we break one, we can order it. That's a nice little feature to this. Uh, pretty simple uh, setup two bolts all we got to do is put two bolts slip it on there and put two bolts in it so let's get started so the first thing I need to do is get this bucket up to where we can work on it and we want to be safe about it so what we're going to do is we're going to lift the bucket up I'm going to put a saw horse up underneath of it to keep it at the working height Now the reason why I turned the motor off when I put that down is I didn't want to put any down pressure on the sawhorse. All I wanted to do is get the weight off of it and just let the bucket set on there. Now we're pretty safe to work on it. We got the sawhorse positioned in the middle, kind of towards the back, just a little bit. And that's going to be a safe working area. So I was out working with this and I got a little bit of dirt in the corner of this bucket along this edge. We're going to go ahead and just take a screwdriver and clean it up a little bit just to make sure we don't have anything that's going to get in the way of our tooth bar. Alright, now that we got that cleaned up, we can go get our tooth bar. We have a couple bolts to take out first. Okay, you're going to need some big old wrenches to get these out. And this is an inch and an eighth bolt, so these are pretty big guys. You're going to turn that, get that bolt out. We have two of these. We have one on each side, so we're going to get them taken out. Now that has a locking nut on it, so it's going to be a little bit tight probably the whole entire way out. Okay, one down and one more to go. Okay, that's number two. Now you want to be careful on this part because this guy is super heavy. Be 
careful with your fingers here. Get them smashed. All right, what we've done here is we made sure we pushed this uh, bracket as far back as we can on both sides. We got it back in there, it's tight. Nothing's in its way, it's, it's in there nice and tight. Now we wanna get ready to uh, mark our holes. Okay, this is the first hole I'm gonna mark right here. I'm not gonna put it all the way in the back or all the way in the front, I'm gonna put it right dead center as close as I can, doesn't have to be perfect. Now, we just put a video on, uh, just last week, on the transfer punches. I had no clue what these were used for, but now since uh, I posted the video, uh, they're used for several, couple different things, uh, the way I understand. So we got a three quarter inch one, because we're using three quarter inch bolts, and we're gonna stick this in the center here, the best that we can. And we're going to give this guy a tap. Just a light tap. We're going to do that same thing with the other side. In the center. Best we can. So now we got them both pre-marked. We'll pull this out. Find our little center. Matter of fact, I'll probably get in there with a marker. Let me see here. Just to make sure we get that right. I can see the mark right there. I'm gonna put a little dot on it so I know for sure when I move that bar, I'm in the right place. So now I know when I pull this bar off, I got two little black dots there. We'll get our center punch, make them a little deeper. Go ahead and pull your tooth bar back off and just put it down below it. Try to get it to where you don't trip over it. Now let's get the center punch in these. All I gotta do is find my little black dots, which are pretty easy to see. Now we got it uh, punched really good. All right, just so you guys can see, there's where my center punch is. Find you a nice sharp bit, get a small one. Start off with a small bit. Find your center there. Hold your drill as level as you possibly can and squeeze the trigger. We're gonna take our time and go through this side of the bucket. Add oil every once in a while, make sure you don't ruin your bit. Now I'll do the same on the other side. Now that we have the first hole punched, we're going to get a little bigger bit and we're gonna go through it again. Now we'll do the other side the same way. Now we're up to the half inch drill bit now, but we still gotta go one more after this. To the other side. Now we gotta go one more. Okay, our next bit is gonna be a three quarter inch bit. Now, these bits here are not very cheap. Um, you're gonna pay probably about $25 for this bit just to drill this hole. So it's not very cheap. Okay, that's number one. Got one more to go. Now 
now that we got our holes drilled, the first thing we want to do is we got to try the bolt, make sure it fits. Three quarter inch drill bit did the job. So we're going to get this cleaned up. Okay, so we're gonna get ready to install our bolts. Now, I personally don't want these to seize up, so I'm gonna use a little bit of anti-seize on them uh, down in this part. Now, don't forget, anti-seize is not a grease. It just keeps it from seizing up. We do not want these to seize up because I want to be able to take this on and off whenever I want to. So we're going to go ahead and put our bolt in, our bolts in. I have a little spacer washer. I'm going to put between the bucket and this uh, metal piece here. I want to be able to take this on and off as I need to. We're not going to tighten this all the way up, but we are going to snug it just a little bit right there I'll leave it right there until we get the other side in we're gonna do this side the same way a little bit of anti-seize on this thing like I said we want to be able to get these on and off when we want it on and off I don't want to leave it on all the time because you don't always need that cutting edge I'm gonna place a little washer in this one too just to take up some of the space not going to take all of it. It'll take some of it. Put our washers on. We have a washer on the outside and a washer on the inside. Now we're going to tighten this one down. Now go ahead and tighten your opposite side. Okay, I think we're done. Yeah, I thought we were finished, but uh, as you can see, you have teeth on these. Now, I just noticed that these pins, they're flush on one side. What we want to do is tap these pins to where they're equal on both sides. We want them pins to be the same amount on each side. And we're going to do that all the way down this bucket.
Those pins are what's holding on these little teeth, and we don't want to lose our teeth. Okay, that was installing the uh, tooth bar on the Kubota B2301. The, the loader is the LA435. I would like to tell everyone, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Until next time.